Oh my god, guys, it's the Stinky Girls. Welcome back. Basically, this kid just took the, he just took off his sweatshirt and he just we just saw a kid with a boner like right now. A huge bulge. Like, why did you? How did you notice that? No, I didn't. I didn't. And he's just like he's standing up, so it's like eye level because I'm sitting down and like he's taking off his sweatshirt. So I'm like, I looked at him, he's taking off his sweatshirt, and then all of a sudden, which is. And like, then she was, was like, like, I thought something was in my pocket for a second. I was like, maybe it's just in my pocket. And I was like, that's not oh in my pocket. Oh my god, that was scarring. I was like crying. He was like crying. But Maddie was saying that she had some flashbacks. And she thought it was traumatic. traumatic. But every time I, I make a guy hard, I think it's like an accomplishment. <laughs> oh my god. Well, also it was... Um, also, we also saw Larky. another guy, me and Caitlin were passing the hallway, um, we'll call him <laughs> Stefano, <laughs> and he has a girlfriend, but he's walking by himself, and he's like holding No, he was walking with his girlfriend. Oh, and he was No, like, that was a different guy. Uh -huh, you know, know the girl who's friends with, no. they sit next to Hayden? Yeah. She's, that, she's, she's friends with the, one of the twins, uh, like, dating the twins. Uh -huh. so they were walking down the hallway, and Matt didn't see it that high, so he was holding, like, he was standing there talking, and he was just holding his dick. Yes. <laughs> and he was, like, walking, waddling, holding it. Why is Boom Girl I swear to God. Today? Boom Girl I is on swear crack. To God. Oh, we're not, we don't go to Boom Girl. Um, we, we go to Bailey are, Sarian. <laughs> we go to Bailey Sarian. <laughs> True that. True. We go to Kendall Ray. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. so basically everyone's been horny today and I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm like terrified. <laughs> Maybe um, it's something in the Bosco sticks. Oh, and also we should know that um, my ex-boyfriend, who I don't consider my ex-boyfriend because... <laughs> what are you doing? Spread <laughs> eagle on the floor. I'm sorry, everyone. She's I'm like, wearing like, dots. I can't like, sit like Caitlyn. Anyways, um, he said he moved on in one day. That's but just like maybe he was cheating on me. No, no. He wasn't. Are you sure? He was obsessed with you. I think he was thinking about it though, because he said he moved on the next day. Like he got a girlfriend the next day, so he no. You know, I bet he, I bet her. he was friends with her. And oh then, yeah. Um, I bet he was friends with her, and then he was just like, oh, we're dating now. Yeah, like that's a real. Yeah. I bet she doesn't know that they're dating. I yeah. bet it's just him. It's all no, one-sided. No, they went to prom together. You saw pictures? Yeah, I want to see it. Did he look really bad? Wait, is it on know. his profile? Yeah. Uh, okay, guys, we're looking up this Land. right now. Maddie's brightness is all the way down, of course. <laughs> Land. And today, after school, we get to have oh, a pizza party with Miss Maggie. Really so maybe we'll vlog that. But look, there's them. Wait, just screenshot and zoom in. Yeah. Oh. Duh. So maybe we'll vlog today at the pizza party. Oh my god. Why does he look bald? <laughs> Why? What? Her dress is cute, but yeah. I can just tell she's ugly. Yeah, just from the blurry picture. I can tell he's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can really tell he's ugly. Like, what's going on with the hair? What's going on with the will face? be making an apology mm -hmm. video. And why yes. are we even not even saying Landon? Yeah. Yeah. We, this is a, their We've Stinky Girls like account is on our a Landon hate account. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. It's a Landon hate account, a page hate account, like... Oh. Wait, can we lay on our stomachs? I know, my knee hurt. Oh my gosh. Am I in the way? No. Do I need to move? No. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, today's episode of the podcast, we're going to be talking about our sixth grade drama. True dad. But, True dad. Um, I think either Betty, Maddie, or Laura should tell the story this time, because I talked like for 15 minutes last time. We have a talking queen. So we have to take turns. Well, I feel like this whole story is very, like, two-sided. Yeah. We should get Delia on here and have her opinion. Oh, my God. I forgot she's probably going to listen to this. And, like... No, she <laughs> does not watch our videos. That's true. Yeah, it's kind of rude, actually. And nobody listens to our podcast. I know. Except that people you accidentally sent it to. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we... The, you know the first uh, podcast? Well, we accidentally sent it to these people, and Caitlin called them, like on the phone on accident when she was trying to call me and they were like stop calling us and they cussed us out yeah and then we called them back because we were like <laughs> we're gonna teach them a lesson yeah but then he started cussing us out even more so we just screamed and farted into the phone and then they like come oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to our story <laughs> boom girls oh who's taking a picture anyway okay so who wants to start off the sixth grade drama i will Okay. Because it kind of started with me. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. There's a lot of stuff leading up to that where, like, we stopped being friends. Like, the whole school year, it was kind of off and on. So, you can go ahead, Maddie. Okay, so, um... I forgot what was even happening. I was, like, kind of not friends with Caitlyn and Laura, like, a little bit. But, like, um... I don't even remember why, but, like, the, oh, I think I had, like, soccer all the time. They were always hanging out, and I wasn't. But, um... This wait what? Sixth grade? Yeah. Sixth grade, yeah. Like I had practice like soccer practice on the days you guys would like hang out. Yeah. And so you guys like they like went to the park with like Delia and I was like I said before, like, my mom's like an alcoholic. <laughs> Um, this because is a safe space. Because <laughs> she kind of, like, not, like, severe, like, gets mad, but, like, every night she's drinking, so. Um, but it's the seasons. Everyone in the back of the seasons does that, so. But, anyways, and then Delia was telling me that they were talking crap about me at the park, and it was like, her mom's not an alcoholic, and, like, she's so dramatic, blah, 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 blah. And, um, so then she told me she texted me that and i was like oh my gosh i'm so upset and then so i like went to delia's house and like we'd be like had a project and we would like puppy chow together <laughs> and then um and back in sixth grade it was like that awkward like really embarrassing where it's like if you're mad at someone you post it on their story oh my god on your story and so i was like no actually i posted first yeah i thought delia posted first no i, I remember just seeing, gonna be like, happy Laura. no that was me i was like a boomerang of me being like I'm just gonna be oh, happy. No. Uh, I'm just and gonna I saw be that, and I was like, I, I was. Everyone was on my story. I was like, I'm not gonna let the haters get me down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, sir. Just like Delia. Okay, I honestly can't remember, so it might have been me, but I, I feel like it was Delia who was like, let's just not talk to them at school, um, tomorrow. And so then we all started like ignoring each other. And, and we, then, we, me and Caitlin had no idea why. Yeah, we would. And, and like Nicole was mad at us too. The other girl, Nicole, was mad because she apparently wanted to go to the park, but she doesn't live anywhere close to us. She lives like thirty minutes away, so obviously. Oh yeah, she, she wasn't was mad go that she beach. wasn't invited. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That's why she was so like on the side. next day at school, me and Laura were like trying to talk to Maddie. Delia sat by me on the bus, and I kept trying to talk to her, and she like would not respond. She was just blatantly ignoring me. So then we got we like got to school, and everyone was ignoring us, and me and Laura were like, "Can we please sit next to each other?" Or we're gonna kill ourselves. So then we got to sit by each other. <laughs> um, what happened after that? After, after we all got mad at each other, then you like told Miss Atwood, and she was like, "She's probably just on our period." Oh yeah, we <laughs> thanks Miss Atwood. Literally. She's um, just on her period. We just like weren't, and then it just escalated from that. Like I feel like we could have, if we just like talked it out better, it could have like, like we, we stopped. Talked after no, that. we talked. No, we did, but it ended up like fighting because I was like, you guys said, worse. I was like, you guys said that, and like, no, you need to stop being dramatic. Like, and I got upset about like every little thing they said about me. Also, but I don't know if we were talking about. I, you say it's the alcoholic stuff, but I remember it being like Maddie cusses. Oh, that was part of it too. No, it was both. It was like I just remember being Maddie like, said the uh, Maddie said she bad word cuss, before. But she cusses. LOL. It wasn't like I can't believe she cusses. No, like, that's what Delia told a me. Christian it was. girl. No, like, I said a bad word first, and then you were like, oh, "You just cursed," and then I was like, "Maddie cusses all the time too. You need to be quiet." Yeah. Like I literally said a bad word back then, like twice. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Now she's cussing like a sailor. No. <laughs> oh yeah. The last <laughs> time I said a bad word was like when my dog wouldn't shut up. I was like, "Shut up, you ugly poop." <laughs> Cuts at your dog. <laughs> this is what I posted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Betty posted like dog filter. Oh I'm just gonna God. be happy. So sorry. What happened after yeah. that? After. Um, but then I remember like you texted me like a paragraph and like it was like you are my best friend. And oh yeah. yeah like, I texted Maddie because uh, you were always Laura was always like. If someone doesn't want to be my friend, I don't need to be their friend. I don't care. But I was like, I need to keep the peace. No, but no, that's that's what you said though. You were like, you're my best friend, but I don't need to be friends with someone who's gonna keep me down or something like that. <laughs> don't keep me down. <laughs> or there was something like to that like oh relationship. Oh my god. And um, what was that? I don't know, but it was like. I was like, well, I'm just tired of being left out of everything and being called mean names and whatever. And then, like, I f that was, like, the end of that. And, like, we stopped talking for more. And then I was like, 
I like went across the street because my mom was like there talking to like Caitlin's mom and then like I was upset and then your mom was like why aren't you talk? why aren't you Caitlin friends right now I was like then I started like crying and I was like oh my god oh, I just can't handle this no I remember Emma coming <laughs> Emma came to my mom and not to like, like your mom oh. yeah Emma came inside and she was like Maddie's here and I was like why <laughs> and then um and then I was like, I want to be their friend, but I'm just sad. And then I was like, I'm gonna text them and come to, to come to oh Sandy my Beach. God. Sandy was a mess. And then like that Guess didn't what Laura work. did. Guess what Laura did? She brought sticky notes and said, Let's all write down one thing we hate about each other to get it out oh in the my open. God. <laughs> I still think that's a good idea. And then we went around once and everyone was so mad. Everyone was like, you think I'm annoying? No, so I we feel like, like... We are like, just kidding. Let's write I, something no, I, like. I thought it was only like Delia got really mad. I think yeah. it was you too, maybe? No, I, I, I have a feel. I thought I didn't get really mad about it. And I, I like, remember Eve the whole time was just like, you guys are all beautiful people. <laughs> like Mitchell was there. Mitchell was not a part of oh it. Oh my god. And then I remember like, I think I was hitting, hanging out with Mitch after it. Like everyone's like upset. And so they like, all like no, went off and it, you know on their what happened? own. We were all sitting in the circle, like on the hill, like talking. And then Maddie like get up, gets up and runs away. And we were like, oh, because I think I, I texted Mitchell. I think I was the one who got Mitchell there. Yeah, we were like, where did Maddie Mitchell, go? Because he said he's like grandma's. Um, yeah. And so I went to talk to Mitchell because I was like upset that we like yeah, wasted Maddie each other. Yeah, Maddie just left. She got up and sprinted away. Maddie... We're talking. No, no, I know. I know choir is not there, but still, don't be too loud, okay? Because okay. I'm still working. Okay. Work then. You know how they homework any of you, sir? No. Yeah. No. no. Okay. Okay, we just got here by the day. Do you have any due today that you turned in on? No, I all I had our today was tests and section questions in world history, and I already did it. Do you have math and English today? Yet? She had no. a test in math. Oh, how'd the test go? Um, bad. <laughs> Okay. Study <laughs> for it. Yeah. She even had her own little cheat sheet. No, I did good until it got to the written part, and then it was oh. like, ah. Why do you think I was bad? Because I never did the homework, and I was not at school those days. But guess what? Her grades that. are A Inter plus. Interesting, you say now never did the homework, even though I've asked you every other day. Hey, have you kept up on your homework? And you're like, yeah. No, See, you never anyways, said that. So uh -huh. the I beach. said that to you a few weeks ago. I'm like. Laura, why, it was like I went like up to Mitchell, and, and that was because I was bad. It, but I got that grade up to a C minus. I know, I saw that. Yeah, all of her grades are good right now. Her lowest grade is a C plus. And basically, we're trying to grow our YouTube career because our one video has two hundred and seventy-seven <laughs> views. We're famous, Mr. Bell. Two hundred seventy-seven. <laughs> not as famous as Ty the Domino Don't guy, though. Those people obsessed with social media and becoming social media stars. Okay. Don't be we already them. are super media stars. Come nice. to the ball for the giveaway. The mall, not the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear a dress, though. But, anyways. Okay. Back also, to this. Wait, oh. hold on. A little intervention. Why did the teacher just act like he cares about me? And he calls me Lore sometimes. Do you realize that? Yes. God. The, the only person that calls me that is Caleb. And I told Caleb that he called me Lore. And he was like, I'm going to beat him up. No, he's not a lot of that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, back to Maddie. Sorry. Okay. That's guys. Okay. Um... So we left off, you left. You went to Mitch, you yeah, ran away I'm just like talking to Mitch, I was like, this is just too much. I thought we were going to make up, but we didn't. We just like roasted each other. <laughs> and from mine and Laura's point of view is like, Maddie just got up and ran. And we were like, okay, well, what now? Maddie just left. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, and then we, okay, so then I forgot what <laughs> we happened in between that. But then there. Like, I think we like met up again or something like that. But then we ended up like actually making up. Yeah, and, we made uh, up. Because no, we, we made we, like, up over discussed. email. Over email, yeah, that's what well, yeah, it was. Yeah, we finally discussed what happened, and it was like, well, Delia told me you guys said this, and we're like, no, all we said was, like, you cussed one time, and, yeah. like, whatever. And we came to the revelation like, that Delia was the, the revelation, problem. Which I honestly think she kind of was. Like, obviously, like, what led, like, after, like, the first thing that started it was our fault, but the f what started it, I feel like it was kind of our fault. We still go by that to that to this day. Like, Delia was the problem of all of our problems. Well, because she, the Delia was a pathological liar. Yeah, she would just lie. She would, like, lie to E and, like, who was her, like, best yeah. friend and, like, whatever. Um, but anyways, oh, continuing. And then we are like, <coughs> Laura was having her birthday party coming oh up. Oh, my God. And then I was, like, Delia, I was, like, I don't really want to be Delia's friend again. Like, they're, like, let's give her a second chance. Yeah, I remember sitting in English, <laughs> or sitting in reading, and we all had the same reading class. And me and Laura were sitting next to each other, and Maddie was sitting next to us. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Delia was sitting like um in a different corner of the room and Maddie was like, I'm done with her, like all dramatic and everything because we were so dramatic. Maddie's like, I'm done with her and we were like, I think we need to give her a second chance because our birthday party we're inviting everyone in the school and we can't just not invite Delia. So then we were like, Okay, and then we called Delia over and she sat by us. And then we were friends with her again until the birthday party. Yeah, so I forgot what happened at the birthday party, but not after the birthday party, we were all like, we shouldn't have given her a second Do you chance. remember? Yeah, no. Oh, okay, I kind of remember. So, at the birthday party, what happened was, we were all having, like, a fine night, and then Delia, like, got on the phone with Nick, and mm-hmm. Nick ruins everything. I hate <laughs> you, Nick. He ruins everything. You still ruin everything. Yeah. Nobody likes you, and... Too bad. Actually, for some reason, everyone likes him, but anyway. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. Anyway. Um. So he, Delia got on the phone with him because she like liked him or something, and then Nicole mm-hmm. liked him, and then everyone started crying. No, the whole <laughs> thing that started it was Nick would not. Nick kept being like, "Don't tell your friends. We can date in secret if you're not comfortable." To Caitlin. So, so I had to give the phone to Laura and be like, "Can you please tell him to stop? He's asking yeah. like eight times in the but last didn't, hour." Didn't like Nikki get jealous? Yeah. So I was like, oh, "No." He asked Nikki like, or he called her, he something he played Nikki or he called her like. Fat. <laughs> he called her like thicky Nikki or something. Oh. So Nicole got mad and I was like, wait, Nick, you should date Nicole. <laughs> like trying to get him away from me. I was like, you need to date Nicole. She's so beautiful and perfect. Her, 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 her. Just a little. I was like, stubble. She was <laughs> <laughs> like, you need to date her right now. And then he said no. And then Nicole started crying because he like rejected her. And she was like in love with him back then. Yeah. And Jacob. And yeah. Her heart. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so she was, like, crying, and then everyone was mad at Nick. And Nick and Logan and Zach, that whole friend group, they were supposed to come to the birthday party. But Zach Elman was like, I want to go fishing. And Nick was, like, friends with us. He was supposed to go, but he didn't end up going because Zach Elman was like, if you go, you're not my friend anymore. So then they all went fishing instead, and then Zach Elman was like, I hope her birthday party is ruined, and they all kill themselves. <laughs> oh, my God. Remember in the morning before we went to Duncan, Delia did your makeup? Oh, my God. And then, so oh, it was so bad. You had to wear sunglasses. <laughs> Isn't that when you made that TikTok? Yeah. I remember that TikTok. I'm gonna take my horse. And my parents were like, Laura, if you have any more music that says the F word or vagina, I'm gonna shh. I'm not gonna be your friend. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a Laura TikTok. What am I Great. doing? Now you're in trouble. You said the F word in vagina so loud. Now she's getting in trouble. I'm coming! Oh my god. Be nice then. Don't yell at me. Okay. Just say, I'm really sorry for saying vagina. Okay, I was just explaining a story. Don't, don't yell at me. I'm not. Oh my god. One time, Laura got into a screaming match with the band teacher because she, like, he called her out on her grades. Shh. Is she going to the office? What happened? Oh, you know what happened. Are you going to the office? I don't know. What is that? What? It's a body part. Well, because he's not a woman. <laughs> He's not a empowered woman. You're arguing against yourself right now. So. I am an empowered woman. You just have to sit down. Yeah. Okay. Let's go podcast over there. Okay. But that's literally hate crime. Why did you stop recording? This is good audio. I I don't know what happened. Your phone shut off. Did it save? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, this room just really and I think the next one I canceled this. So now we have to talk for our podcast. What time is it? For like 20 minutes by ourselves. Okay, so where do you have to sit? Just by him? Yeah. Just count to like 30 and then be like, it's been an hour. No, I'll just talk to him. Okay. 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 Anyway, so let's just continue the, co- the podcast without Laura, I guess. Um, oh. Where did we leave off? I think we're like almost done with this. Okay, story. so... We're at the birthday party, and we all spent the night, the, um... I think Maddie Benko was there, too. Did we spend the night the day before or the day after? It was the day before. No, 
yeah, the day before, and then the next day was her birthday party, and then I, I mean, I stayed the night, and either you stayed the night again, or Nikki spent the night again, or something okay. like that. So, we stayed the night, the night before, and the night before, um, what happened the night before? Uh, the night before was all good, I think, right? What? What? It, yeah, no, the night, the night before, before was when the drama happened. The drama, okay. So, I think these are two different birthday parties we're thinking of. What? No, Laura's birthday. I don't know, but there's another one too that, like, I feel like. Never mind. Um, oh, yeah, that job did happen that night, but. The I don't timeline remember. is, like, messed up. Yeah, it's a little weird. But, um, so basically, we're, like, uh, like, we're all hanging out in, like, the living room or something, and we were, like, it was almost time for bed before the party, so we, we, we were just gonna play just dance so we like get just dance on and we were like okay we're bored of this so then we put on sweet caroline because we like loved this song at that time so we're all just jumping around like singing sweet caroline like in a congo line and delia is mad for some reason she's still upset with like the nick situation so she's on the phone with nick like in the other room and she's like she's like telling him that we're saying bad stuff about him she's like oh Oh, my god that's why we were mad at her yeah she started being like um, I remember that. She started being like, Nick, uh, Caitlin and Lauren, Maddie, they're calling you homophobic, and they're calling you gay, and they're calling you, like, transgender, or all of these things. And then we stop playing, and, like, I look, we stop playing, we sit down, and I look on my phone, and I get, like, I have, like, this huge, long text message from Nick that's like, you need to stop talking bad about Delia. I don't know who you think you yes. are. Stop. Why are you bullying I Delia? And I was like... Wait, where did she come from? I was like, since when was I bullying Delia? So then I text Nick this big long paragraph back that's like, you and Delia are like, I don't know what's going on there, but I thought that we were friends. We've sat next to each other this entire year. You've been friends with Laura for how long? I thought we were like, literally friends. Why are you going behind my back and texting Delia, who I we've literally told you about all of the problems we've had with Oh my god, her. I remember Nick was in the front group fight too. He was like texting me. Yeah, he was texting everyone being like, you need to stop being fake. Like, what does this have to do with any... What does this have to do with you, first of all? You should... If you're on anyone's side, you should be on our side because we've been telling you all of the drama this whole time and how Delia has been, like, stirring the pot this entire time. Yeah, see, the thing, I feel like we, like, kind of blamed Delia, but all she was doing was, like, stirring the pot. Yeah. It, was, like, exactly it wasn't fault. all her, it was not all her fault. It was all of us just being, like, annoying. Yeah. But she was always the one that was, like, oh, she said this and she said this and let's not talk to them tomorrow. So, after, Nick is, like, all mad and then he was finally, he finally was, like, and then I we, um I called him on my phone and then Laura was like yelling at him through the phone like I can't believe you say something like this I hate you you're ruining my birthday party and then she was so mad she was like she had like tears and then I took the phone and I was screaming at him and I was so mad I had like tears and then after that um I don't know what happened was it the next day at the party where Delia got mad and left she spent the night right yeah because then she did the Laura's makeup the next day I thought. Yeah, so I don't know what happened, but somehow it all got brushed over. And we were like, oh, it's Nick's fault. I think we said, oh, it's Nick's fault. So then we all just like went to bed and woke up the next morning and it's like everything was fine. Because that, next- that was the day of her birthday party, actually. And then we all spent the night again, or a couple of people spent the night again, I think. Did that all happen the night of her birthday? I don't know. Why. I think that happened the night before, and then the day, the next day we woke up and we went to get Duncan. She did her makeup and whatever. And then it was, like, before Laura's party. <laughs> before Laura's party, Nicole was like, I'm sick. Delia did something. Oh, my God. Not the piano. Delia did something else. I don't know what happened, but I know we all got, we were all mad again, or I don't know if it was all of us that was mad, or if it was just, um, I think it was just Nicole that was mad, because Nicole walked up to Delia, she was telling all of us, like, I don't want to be her friend anymore, I'm going to go tell her I don't want to be her friend, and we were like, can you wait? Yeah, and that's why she We were like, can you wait till the birthday party is over with, please? Like, it hasn't even started yet. And then she was like, no, I'm going to say it now. So she, like, storms up to Delia in the living room, and she's like, I don't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah. And then Delia was like, fine. And then Delia left. Yeah, and then I went to, like, go grab Delia. I was like, wait. Just let's talk. And then she was like, Stop! And she like <laughs> yes. shoved me off. And her. then she thought, you hit, No, it, who? 
There was something about hitting that also got mad. Yeah. Like, I think Julia was like, you hit me. I was like, stop. And she was like, yes. And I was like, <laughs> yes. Like, there was almost a fist fight. Oh, my God. And Julia was like, you hit me. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and then Julia left. And then the whole birthday party was a mess. We invited our whole grade and, like, <laughs> like, like Mackenzie, Chris, showed up. 15 people showed up. Laura's trampoline. Yeah, Mackenzie, Chris showed up and ripped a hole in Laura's trampoline. Which, it was salvageable, though. It was just a nip. I guess yeah. Laura's not allowed to have a trampoline about a nip. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, that's what the Franco fight was. Yeah. And that, was the first, that wasn't the first time Delia ruined a birthday party. I was friends with Delia and Eve before all of this. And, like, in third and fourth grade, I was friends with them. I stopped being friends with them in fifth grade because I was like, I can't do this anymore. That's when I became friends with Laura. But at my fourth grade birthday party, I, like, went in a limo. It was just Maddie. <gasps> I was Me, about to Delia ask, and like, Eve. um, have you, I feel like you've never had a bad birthday party, but that was the one with yeah. the drama. Delia was mad at me because yeah. Eve had to go home the night, that night, and Maddie and Delia were spending the night, so I was hanging out with Eve more, and, like, Delia and Maddie were hanging out, like, there was no issue, and then, um, we, like, went night swimming and everything, and then we went back in my room, yeah. and me and Eve were just hanging out, and Delia and Maddie were hanging out, and then Eve left, and then um the next day i was hanging out with maddie and we were like in the pool hanging out me and maddie have all these inside jokes we've been friends since like kindergarten so obviously we're closer than me and delia are and delia got so mad she started ignoring me at my birthday party and like my family is there okay queens is calling and then like the next day uh, no i remember and like remember that night she was yeah she was mad for some reason and then the next day she didn't she um totally just ignored me and then she left like halfway through and i like thought i was being powerful so at the end as she was leaving with natalie because her little sister was there she was friends with my little sister she said um they were walking out and i said bye natalie and not bye to delia because i thought i was like woman empowerment oh yeah i remember and then like the next day at school everything was fine we didn't even mention it um anyway so that's no, yeah, so I remember I that sorry um that night I remember Delia when I was on top of the bunk bed with Delia yeah she was talking you were on top of the bunk bed she was like oh when she's like in this group chat <laughs> oh anyways um she was like just talking about like she's like she's leaving me out she's like trying to convince me that you were leaving me out too I was like Eve literally has to leave literally and then she's like mm, I don't know and then the next day at school, it was fine. Like, yeah. she didn't even mention it. Like, you ignored me at my birthday party in my own house after I took you in a limo. Yeah. Like, Laura finally just had her, um, like, good birthday party this year. And it was just us three. That's why it was good. Yeah, and I I don't think I've ever had a good one either. So, anyway, I think that's pretty much it. We'll add more if Laura wants to add on, but that's pretty much it for the Stinky Girls. So... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Alora's in trouble for her dad ordering too much Little Caesars, so we're gonna pause for now and we'll see you guys later. Okay, bye from the Stinky Girls. <laughs>